Hi, BYD. Open my window. Hi, BYD. Close my window halfway. Hi, BYD. Set the destination to October 26, 1985. Sorry, I don't think I understand. It was worth a shot. Hi everyone, David here from Beyond EV, and today I want to give you a bit of a walkthrough of the voice control commands that can be performed in BYD cars. If you've looked at modern cars today, physical buttons are becoming a bit of a luxury. They are becoming fewer and far between when it comes to how you control your car from the driver's seat or even from the passenger seat. And I believe a lot of that comes to the fact that voice control is becoming a more prominent method to activate certain features in the car, which allows drivers to remain focused on the road and not look around the cabin here, there and everywhere to find the right button they need. Now, BYD's voice control system has a number of nuances and a lot of contextual instructions that can be performed. You don't have to tell it directly to open a window or turn down the AC. You can tell it that you're feeling cold or you're telling it that you want it to be a little bit hotter in the cabin, it will automatically adjust certain parameters based on the context. Now, I'm going to go through a bit of an in-depth walkthrough of the different controls that can be performed, but to start off, I wanted to just go through what I believe are my most used voice control commands in a BYD vehicle. So to start off with, I just wanted to provide a bit of an insight into what I personally use the most via voice control in my BYD seal. And the reason I use voice controls for these particular commands is because activating them through a button through the infotainment screen is quite cumbersome. And there's a few menus you need to navigate through to actually turn them on or change settings. So the much easier way to control these particular functions is through the voice control. And the number one function I use voice control for is activating heated seats or ventilated seats. Going through the menus to do that requires three or four button presses to actually get to the seat heating in the BYD seal interface. But if I just push the button on the steering wheel, I can tell it to turn it on and it does it instantly. Turn on seat heating. Sure, I'll turn on seat heating. And it's simple as that. Now there's two heat and cooling settings, one and two. So you can tell it which setting you want it to set to. If you just tell it to turn on seat heating, it'll turn, turn it up to two, the higher setting. But you can turn it to turn it up to one if you just wanted it at a milder setting. Set seat heating to one. Okay, I've changed seat heating to one. And there you go. So that would probably be the most common voice activated function I use in the car. So the second most common function I use voice control for is activating the rear defrost function. And that's because there's no buttons down here or anything that can be easily accessed through the infotainment system. You have to navigate through the menus to turn it on. So it's much easier to just tell the car to turn it on. Now the rear demisto is actually linked to the side mirror heating as well. So when you turn on the rear demista, it'll turn on side mirror heating and you can do it by just saying this. Turn on rear defrost. Okay, turning on rear defrost. And that's it. So this comes in really handy in on cold mornings where the windows are all fogged up. I will just jump in the car, tell it to turn on rear defrost, and it will turn on the rear defrost. As for the front defrost, there's a button right here in the center console, and I just push that, and that turns on the front pretty much at maximum speed maximum fan speed so i'm fine on that part so as far as voice controls concerned they are the two i use probably almost on every drive so now i just want to go a little bit more in depth into the types of functions that can be controlled using byd's voice control system and the types of context that can be used around them 
And the first one of those contexts is area control. So what are the logic contexts that BYD voice controls take into account are area zones and where you are in the car when you perform the voice control. And there are two zones. You've got the driver zone and the passenger zone. And when you perform a voice control, you don't have to direct exactly where you want that action to occur. For instance, if I'm sitting in the driver's seat and I say, hi, BYD, open the window. It will open the window next to my door. But if I'm sitting in the passenger seat, hey, BYD, open my window. If I'm in the passenger seat, it will open up my window. So that's a really good way to simplify the voice control process. You don't have to provide really specific instructions. The car will understand what you want to perform based on where you are in the car. But if you do want, say, the passenger window to open from the driver's side, you do actually have to say, open the passenger window. But if you're sitting in the passenger seat, you don't have to tell it to open the passenger window. You just need to say, open my window and it'll open the window. So if at any time that you want to actually get an understanding of what functions can be controlled using BYD's voice control, the infotainment system gives you a bit of a guide of what actions it can perform. And you can do that by swiping across on your infotainment system and touching the BYD Assistant app. Now on the right side, you'll see BYD voice skills. And this here will give you a broad overview of the types of functions the voice control system can operate. It's not entirely comprehensive. It just gives you a basic overview of the types of things. So if you're using the native navigation system, you can tell it to go home, go to a particular location. You can ask it how long you've got left to reach your destination, or you can view the entire trip. This is all using the native navigation system. So not using Google Maps or Waze or anything like that. But that's pretty nifty if you do use the native navigation system. Uh, moving over to vehicle control, it tells you the types of functions it can control with the AC, with your seats. You can even control the ambient lighting as well as the windows, which I showed you earlier. Uh, it can control your media so if you want to play music you can just tell it to play music and it will play music um, you can tell it to switch to a particular radio station uh, you can just tell it i want to listen to the radio and it will turn on the radio and switch it to a radio station now there's this infotainment screen and this instruction will provide you basic overview functions but it's not providing you with contextual instructions so there are commands that you can provide which aren't that direct and it will use basically AI to determine what action to perform. So if I, for instance, want to turn on the AC and not sure exactly where I want it to set to, I can just say, I'm feeling cold. All right, the temperature is going up by one degrees. And what the car has done is just turned on the AC and bumped up the temperature of the AC a little bit. Now, if I say, I'm feeling a little hot. Okay, I've decreased the temperature by one degrees. It does the same in the opposite direction as well. The BYD Assistant app will give you a bit of a basic overview of the types of things that it can control, but it doesn't go that in depth into the types of context that you can provide. So I'll do that now, starting with AC controls. So AC controls in BYD vehicles are quite comprehensive. And if you go to the AC control screen on your infotainment screen, there are a lot of functions here that can be performed and it can a little be a little bit overwhelming. Um, you also have to switch to other screens if there's particular uh, functions that you want to perform, particularly seat heating and seat ventilation, air purification. You have to click off the main AC screen to perform those functions. So if that is a bit too much, and I think if you're driving, it's probably not something you want to be taking your eyes off the road to control. You can activate these things through voice control. So as I mentioned before, 
you can activate your seats uh, via the voice control app. And it's one of the most common things that I use the voice control for. I've got my heated seats on at the moment, so I'm just gonna turn them off via the voice control. Turn off seat heating. Okay, turning off seat heating. So pretty much everything you see in the AC screen can be activated and turned on via voice controls. You just need to be a bit more specific, but you can also give it contextual controls as well, such as telling it I'm feeling hot or I'm feeling cold, and it will turn the AC up a little bit or turn it down a little bit, depending on the context that you've provided with. So there's not much of a limit in terms of what context you can provide it. So have a bit of a play around with it and see what works best for you. So the BYD voice control system can actually be used to control functions of the vehicle as well and things around the cabin. Things that are unique to BYD can be controlled via the voice control system. So you can actually rotate the screen by using the voice control system. So if I push the button on the steering wheel, rotate the screen. Okay, rotating the screen. Rotate the screen. Okay, rotating the screen. It'll rotate it back. You can also open the settings using your voice control system. Open vehicle settings. And it will take you to the vehicle settings screen in the infotainment system. Let's see how far we can dive down and see if we can activate or open up particular screens in the settings. Open up seat settings. Settings is already open. No, so it'll open up the settings screen if you say open up settings, but if you wanna to go to a particular screen in the settings options, it won't take you there. Um, you can control the volume. Now the volume in BYD vehicles goes from zero to 40. So you can give it a specific number. Set volume to 30. Sure, the media volume is set to 30 now. Uh, but you can also provide it a bit of context and say things like, the system volume is a little loud. Okay, set the media volume to 27. And it's just lowered it by 10%. So again, there's a lot of context that you can provide the voice commands. Just have a bit of a play around with it and see what works best for you. So the BYD voice control system can be activated by voice or using the button that you see here on your steering wheel. Now, I prefer to use the button on the steering wheel because I found the voice activation or wake up can be a little bit touch and go, but the button is solid. In addition to controlling items in the vehicle itself, such as your AC, your windows, and your seats with BYD's voice control system, the button on the steering wheel also doubles as your Google Assistant or Siri voice control assistant as well. And if you've got Android Auto activated, you can perform Google Assistant commands or Apple Siri commands by using this button as well. So I've got my Android Auto connected, although I'm just not in it at the moment, I'm in the infotainment screen. But if I short press the button, it's going to provide controls to the native BYD system. But if I long hold the button, it will provide controls to the Google Assistant in my Android Auto screen. So I'm just gonna tap, take me to the nearest hospital. Here's what I found, which would you like? And as you can see, it's tried to find me a hospital using the native BYD navigation system. Now I'm just gonna back out of this now. And now I'm gonna long press it and see what it does when I ask it to do the same thing. Take me to the nearest hospital. And as you can see, it's now done the exact same function but this time using Waze, using Android Auto. So this button doubles up as a BYD 
native voice control system as well as a Google Assistant button as well. And you can actually ask it Google questions if you long hold the button. What's the weather going to be today? Today in Karam Downs, there'll be light rain with a forecast high of 13 and a low of 8. Currently, it's 13 degrees with light rain. And there you have it. So this one button can be used to control the car as well as Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And I think it's a rather seamless and really easy to use setup in BYD vehicles. So that's it. That's BYD's voice control system in a nutshell. And I know I didn't go through absolutely everything the system's capable of, but I just wanted to provide a broad overview of what it's capable of. There's a lot of contextual instructions that it can be provided. And I reckon I've only just really scratched the surface of it. But if you're a BYD owner and use the voice control system and there's a particular context instruction that you provided and don't think others use it enough or should be using it more, let us know down in the comments. I'm interested to hear what other BYD owners use the voice control system for. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe to Beyond EV and hit that notification bell so you're updated with new BYD related videos as they come up. I've got plenty more headed your way. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.